So Book is a really great example of a virtual reality system. I'm really hoping that you've been inside a really immersive book and that, that, you, that you can agree with me wholeheartedly that reading a good book or hearing a good story is an immersive experience, relatively immersive, meaning like you're in there and as far as you're concerned, you know, what's going on in the book is filling your entire being and you feel like you're there, you feel like you're part of it, right? When you're reading a really good book, that happens. Um, and you have a high belief in it, you know, it's, it's like you're not questioning it at all. You're willingly suspending all your disbelief. Even if the book is a, a fantasy book and really strange things are happening, you completely believe in what's going on in the book if it's a well-written book and, you're, and you really get into it. Um, but there's absolutely no output at all. Think about it. You're just reading, right? There's only one input and it's, you know, it's, it's reading. You're not even actually seeing anything. You're reading things and the reading things are causing images in your mind. There's no output at all. You have absolutely no impact. There's no behavior that happens when you're reading. You're just taking stuff in. No behavior, very, very simple input, but really high immersion and really high belief. And this just shows you how belief operates. Belief is sort of the trump card. If you can get people believing that they're in the reality, then it doesn't really matter how, how poor the input and output are. Books are really poor input and have no output at all, yet they produce a really highly immersive experience. Very, very interesting. Very interesting to think about. All right, let's go on.